is Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, Hot 107.9. I'm Maesha Simone, and you guys wouldn't believe who I have in the studio with me right now. I have the CEO of Revolt, Mr. Daytavio Samuels. How are you? Queen, I am so good. <laughs> blessed to be here. Blessed to be in Atlanta, and blessed to be in this radio station with you today. I, home. This home. <laughs> yes, so it is home. I mean, back. it's been a while since you've been here. For those who don't know, if you can just explain what role you played here at Radio 1, because obviously, you know, you work with some of the greatest yeah absolutely um so in 2013 i left don coleman who had built the largest black owned uh multicultural agency and came to work for the legendary wow. iconic queen b miss <laughs> kathy hughes right she is uh, the queen b she is the queen b <laughs> alfred liggins was my boss of course who has turned into a, an incredible coach mentor and big brother and so for six or seven years i had the privilege of running their digital business, of building an agency inside of the company. We built One Solution, we built One X, um, and the team was just doing really, really, really incredible work. And so uh, it's good to be back home. Yeah. Oh, can I, I just also just. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Super love and super shout out, Kathy Hughes, if you're listening. Super love, super shout out, Alfred Liggins, if you're listening. Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure they would appreciate that. And I know that they're just amazed and proud of your journey as a whole. You know, you, you get to see people come from even myself or people who are are behind me and you see the growth as long as you stay consistent then the sky's the limit and you are doing big things and so we have revolt world who what's uh it's on the way and the reason why we're here is because you know you have done a lot of things and you play a big 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 role major role when it comes to hip-hop when it comes to revolt when it comes to all things black excellence that's you and that's what i think about and so we're going to talk about revolt world later but just for those who if you can just elaborate a little bit on what revolt actually is because i'm familiar with the brand i understand the mission but for those who've kind of late who've been late to the party can you just kind of give them a little bit of information on that yeah absolutely so first of all humble just to even hear the way that you introduced my work and talked about me and so Aww. just um, appreciate well, thank that thank you look i got a date tavio stamp that's what <laughs> i'm talking about <laughs> When it comes to Revolt, look, Revolt is an incredible brand. Yes. Um, we are the number one hip-hop platform across the globe. Okay. Um, we are home to all of your favorite biggest shows. You're talking about everything from Carisha Please yes. to Drink Champs to Atlanta's very own Big Facts, mm -hmm. the Jason Lee Show, Black Girl Stuff, Revolt Black News. Mm -hmm. um, we're just sitting on an, an incredible portfolio of content on top of that. We're the fastest growing black owned media company in the nation right now. Yes. Um, and then the thing that makes me the most proud is that we are not just a media company. We are an engine for transformative change. And so the way that we talk mm -hmm. about our vision is that we are here to shift the narrative for black people globally, period, point blank. The way that we go about doing that, our mission is by building the world's largest, most powerful black story. I love the way you talk planet. about Revolt. I love the way you, that's why you're the CEO. And I, I know you didn't get paid to say that. I know you didn't. I can feel the passion in your voice. I can feel the love that you have for the company. I mean, you're celebrating 10 years. Congratulations. Thank you. I mean, what do you have in 10 years in the bag? Where do you see the brand headed? Yeah, so look, um, what I would say is if, if I start here, can I, can I take a little bit of a tangent? Which okay. Is like okay. I, I define unconditional love as being able to love someone or something through every phase and every iteration that it walks through. And when I look at Revolt over the last 10 years, I'm in love and wow. in awe at what this brand has done in every single iteration. It has gone from leading a music rebellion to today leading a global uprising for black people to take control of yes. their narrative. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yes. um, it's so incredible. And so when I think about the next 10 years, like our ambition, our dream, our goal is to go from where we are to building the black Disney. Mm -hmm. Like we believe that black people deserve a black owned media company that is for us, by us. Absolutely. That is doing all of the things that we run and do. We run and control sports, but there's no black owned media company who 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 owns sports. We there's no black Nickelodeon for our children. Mm. The storytelling starts at such a young age. There's no Pixar, there's no Marvel, there's no black ESPN and all of these things there's no ABC News that's why we built Revolt Black News yes. you know what I mean I love so it. the next 10 years of Revolt is just trying to get to this place where we are not um, where we are a multi-billion dollar company pushing 
stories into the world that shift the way that we think about ourselves and the way that other people think about us as well. This is a perfect answer. If you guys could just see and feel the energy, I know you hear me, but you got to be here to actually get this Daytavio energy because <laughs> the passion, like, I think that every company should have a CEO like you. Mm, I think that, you, you know, the way that you speak, the way that you, I mean, Diddy is blessed to have you. Mm. you know, just the whole entire Revolt staff is blessed to have you as their CEO. I so appreciate that. I'm blessed to have them. I'm blessed to have a visionary, global, iconic leader like Sean Diddy Combs. That man won't let you settle for anything but greatness. <laughs> that man we wakes know. up every day trying to figure out how he can change and impact the world for black people. And so just get You didn't have to go get the cheesecake, did you? Nah, no, 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 no. Get no cheesecake. <laughs> you didn't get no cheesecake. You <laughs> didn't get no cheesecake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Revolt is local now. It's here. A lot of yeah. people don't know that the studios yeah, yeah. are here, so that is major, you know, for us. Why was it so important to make sure that happened? Yeah, so we are just very big in not just talking our values, but walking our values and living our values. And I don't believe that you can um, pull so much from the city of Atlanta. I don't believe that you can tap into hip hop culture, so much of which comes from Atlanta, and not give back and pour back into the city of Atlanta. Absolutely. And so that's why we're here. We are here to mm -hmm. um, create jobs, to create opportunities. Um, you know, there's not many places where you can go find a black mayor, black caterers to mm -hmm. tap into, black doctors to tap into, yes. so many black entrepreneurs to tap into. And so I feel like we have just a beautiful relationship with the city of Atlanta where um, every day Atlanta is feeding us and we are doing our best to feed Atlanta. Even when you think about Revolt World, like the ultimate dream is the same thing that Southwest did for Austin or the same thing yes. that Essence Fest did for New Orleans. Exactly. Like they're making, they're bringing hundreds of millions of and dollars we're getting into there those quickly. cities. That, that's the dream. That's we're what we're trying to build. You <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? And Atlanta there. deserves it. Absolutely. Now, Revolt's second mission is to push the, co the culture forward in regards to black entrepreneurs, black owned businesses. And we see you work with people like Pinky and, and you have a good you know relationship with her and Big Dave. Love and Pinky and what, Dave. what other businesses uh, do you plan to push forward and why is it so important for you to do that? Yeah, what I would say is we have um, an entire vertical that's around money, financial literacy, um, building wealth because we fundamentally believe that if black people are going to make our way out of the position that we're in, mm -hmm. we've got to have ownership and we've got to build wealth. That's yes. the key. And so right now we have several different shows, everything from Bet on Black, which is a black shark tank. I love that show. You like I that love show? It. No, I really love that Yo, show. We just filmed season three and I wasn't in the room, but let me tell you when I came in after it was <laughs> over with nothing but tears. Oh. Everybody's saying it's an oh. incredible season. Like you have to be in those rooms. At this mm -hmm. point in time, we probably have 60 to, 60 to 100 black entrepreneurs that we, through the partnership with Target, have helped funded, provided mm -hmm. capital with no exchange of Goodness. equity. We given them coaching we're giving them amplification and these people are doing really 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 amazing work one of the reasons why I love black businesses because I believe that the future of business is all gonna have to be purpose-driven and rooted in purpose mm. and our people black people don't create businesses no that don't have purpose no like, that's true. You know I mean? it's like, always a reason behind it we're always. not just saying hey how can we get rich it's literally like hey either my grandma did this or I did this or this means this that's cause right. I lost someone like everyone has real purpose behind you know to start their business that's so I agree. That's exactly right. So we've got shows like that. We've got um, Troy and Rashad from Earn Your Leisure who sit down with the biggest names in hip hop and they don't just talk about your fancy cars and your fancy jewelry. Now mm -hmm. you might see it, right? But they're going to have conversations about how did you build this wealth? How mm -hmm. did you learn the difference between assets versus liabilities? What mm -hmm. was your first investment? What's mm -hmm. your next investment, right? We're trying to meet our people where they are and provide them with the information and education that they need. And so those are just two of the shows. we got more shows. Maconomics with Ross Mack. I got a show called The Black Print. Mm -hmm. We have show, just shows trying to feed our people and give them whatever information. We're going to add my age Simone live too. We're going to add that one. We're going to add that one. That's going to be an addition. <laughs> <laughs> got to manifest. Yeah. Yes, no. Oh, I, I believe in that. Yes, yeah. no. I'm, I'm manifesting it. They yeah. It's a lot that you don't know about me, but we'll talk off record. Okay. <laughs> well, last time we were together, we were both getting awards. Right? We were. So, yeah, oh, God. That much yes. About you. The yeah. Black Media Honors. I That's mean, right. for you to be sitting at a table right across from you, I think that, you know, it was like a milestone for me mm -hmm. only because it was more like reassurance mm -hmm. that 
if you're in the room with this person, this person flew all the way from LA or wherever you were to come there to be there to accept that award. Um, it just makes me feel like I'm on the right track. And then to everybody else who's in the room as well, you know, it's just one of those things where if you start to, you start off with a certain group of people. Mm. And then as you step in more rooms, you start to see the caliber of people changing. And mm. so that, that meant the world to be able to, and congratulations to you, you know, mm. everything that you have going on too. Thank you. I'm glad that um, <laughs> in that situation, I could be validation, but for you, <laughs> I would say that you're absolutely on the right track. You're on the right track because your core is on the right track. Because every time I see you, you step into the rooms and buildings with light. Because every time I see you, that you are just full of love and giving. I've never seen like a bad bone in your body. And I believe that those people who move in love and unity and humanity Aww. are always going to be blessed. So oh you God. didn't need my validation, <laughs> but you're there because but, you deserve to be and, there. And, and I I'm glad that it. I could also be validation <laughs> in that moment. Yes, no, thank you so much. I will keep those words and make sure you got that okay <laughs> <laughs> celebrating 50 years of hip-hop i know we are almost 50 years of worn out right now but at the same time you know with all the events everything that's been going on there's so many people who are like huge contributors to hip-hop such as yourself mm -hmm. there are different artists who do you think was left off of bad and bougie who's who's mm -hmm. left off the list right now who should we honor that we haven't honored yet well, I can tell you right now that from a Revolt World standpoint, we've been focused on making sure that people in the South get acknowledged. Okay. And so and when we think about that, it's specifically people from New Orleans, okay. people from Atlanta, people mm -hmm. from Miami, right? As we watch so many people celebrate Hip Hop 50, which was wonderful and beautiful, mm -hmm. we also just believe that there were some gaps. You can't of celebrate <laughs> Hip Hop 50 and not talk about Atlanta. Of you course. can't celebrate Hip Hop 50 and not give love to Uncle Luke and mm -hmm. Trina and so many mm -hmm. of those people, right? So yeah. for us, that's what, and when it comes to Revolt World, we're going to try to make sure that we're giving Ooh, those I people their flowers. Wait. Yeah, I'm excited. I know that's going to be a, a major thing because uh, I think, you know, Revolt is very in tune with the culture. And so, like, whatever anybody is left off with this being, this are we, this is quarter four now, yet? Yeah? Almost. 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 October 1st makes quarter four. We're almost in Q4. We're yeah. in Q3. So we're going to close out Q3 with right. Revolt World. And so I think that would be the perfect time to just get everybody the people that we miss get them even if it's last minute and we booked them two days before you know we just want to like really think about that because for atlanta i think this for this to be like the hip-hop mecca to me I you know, know right. yeah yes. i think that you know it's very important so yes. thank you for that yes of course um and that's why we're putting revolt world here in atlanta because this is the mecca for hip-hop absolutely only makes sense absolutely now you mentioned one time and mm. let me let me quote you correctly you okay. said Hip hop has been your entire existence. How do you feel about you know the state of hip hop and where it is right now and where it's headed? Mm. <laughs> I'm excited for hip hop. Okay. Hip hop is something that started with a, a microphone and two turntables and somehow managed to evolve into <laughs> the biggest global phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Period. Point blank. And if we can do that with nothing and now you start to see you know we started out as wanting to be the rappers mm -hmm. um then the music label owners now we have people and i you know i give all the credit to sean combs because mm -hmm. i think he is the the blueprint for this but now we build in empires yes right now we owners not just owners of one thing but owners of multiple things mm -hmm. and so i'm excited about hip-hop because i just think in the next 50 years this mentality where we are the biggest influencers of the culture and we are the sauce everybody needs us and we are moving in a different way that says that ownership matters mm -hmm. um, and controlling our own destiny matters um, i'm excited to see what happens over the course of the next 50 years of hip-hop yeah i know i think you know just knowing your history and all the different brands that you've worked with and how hip-hop has been your core i know there mm -hmm. were some other brands that you helped built you know in the past and you were saying hey it had nothing to do with you know where you wanted to be so you had to kind of mm -hmm. rearrange a situation realign yourself and get back to it and so you know like just to hear that from you I, I think that a lot of people could really appreciate that yeah thank you, know? you. Mm -hmm. and if, and and just to piggyback on that without question you know the story I always tell is I wa always wanted to be in this seat I always wanted to be the CEO of a company that I was highly passionate about that was fast growing mm -hmm. And, you know, that dream probably came in my early 20s, and I didn't get to this seat until I was 41. And wow. so for 20, you know, almost 20 years, I would say I was like banging my head like, God, why is this not you deposited this dream inside <laughs> my heart? Why mm -hmm. is it taking so long to manifest? Goodness and gracious, then I feel you. I woke up <laughs> at 41, and I was the CEO of this brand called Revolt. And wow. I was looking at everything that this brand needed to do. 
And I immediately dropped to my knees and said, thank you, God, because everything I need to do here, you prepped me for. Exactly. The 20 years I was banging my head against the wall <laughs> and complaining was all just preparation. I can't Man. do what I'm doing right now if I don't have those 20 years before me. You know what I mean? So um, for you and to anybody who's listening, like, you know, look, I'm a very spiritual person. People don't have to rock with them on a spiritual level, but I only know one way to say it, which is like God's timing is always right. And Amen. so if you are holding on, wait, like, you just being prep queen. It's coming. <laughs> look, oh, man. It's, it's coming. If you, if you only knew, I don't even have to tell you now because you, you just spoke the words. You know, you just gave me all of that. And it makes perfect sense for you to have your own podcast, mm. The Black Print. I mean, being a CEO, there's not too many CEOs of the company who are also like a personality or someone who has a voice and a face. Uh, why was that so important for you to get that podcast started? It was absolutely not important to me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if I tell you, like, my real truth is um, I never wanted to be known. I never wanted to be wow. anywhere close to being famous. Okay. I think that fame comes at such a high cost. I think a lot of us want it but don't understand the cost. That come. Just simple stuff, not being able to walk through the airport, mm -hmm. you know, without being bothered at the restaurant. So, anyways, my dream was always more of, like, the mob boss. The mob boss is, like, oh, yes. the cat in the kitchen mm -hmm. where they cooking the pizza mm -hmm. nobody knows they back there mm -hmm. you know but they call in all the shots that was my real dream wow and then what happened was two big things happened because you wanted to be a cmo right or uh, when i first started that i wanted to be out. a cmo yeah. exactly 100 okay. and then two big things happened and like probably at the end of 2021 my big brother munson steed um, who who uh, leads Rolling Loud here mm -hmm. um, pulled me to the side and was like, "Young King, what are you doing? You don't have, you don't get permission to hide in the corner. People need to know that someone like you exists. Is running this company, one hundred percent, right? So he pushed me and put the battery in my back. And then the other thing is, I just realized that again, I just think that what it takes to run a business has changed in twenty twenty three, and I think that um, specifically driven by like Gen Z, mm -hmm. they only want to buy from companies who live their values and are trying to create the same world that they want to live in. Absolutely. And what that means to me as a CEO and as a brand is it's almost like you have to have a campaign agenda. Mm. These are our values. This is what we're driving to. And in every st stage and every moment you get, you got to be touting that agenda. Mm -hmm. That's why when I walk in rooms, I talk about owning our narrative, championing black creators, all of those things, right? And you can't do that when you're sitting in the back of the kitchen and nobody can hear you or see you. And no, so it absolutely. was important for me to come out and make sure the world knows our values, what mm -hmm. we stand for, so that the people who rock with our values can rock with us, and the people who don't rock with our values can kick rocks. <laughs> Man, no, that's, <laughs> that's, that's amazing. And that drives us to Revolt World, so we're here. So, in regards to Revolt World, what's the difference between Revolt World and Revolt Summit? Because I was at the summit, I had, of course, that viral moment where Diddy hired me on the spot and flew me out, and I think that was a time where it was all about opportunities, getting jobs, getting mentorships, gaining all that type of stuff. Uh, what would you say is the difference? Yeah, so it is first and foremost, all of that. Okay. What I would say is all of the things that we did before Revolt World, same, it's just preparation for this moment, mm -hmm. preparation for bigger, better, more scaled impact. And so it starts with Revolt Music Conference in Florida. It shifts into Revolt Summit. Okay. To your point, the whole time it's always been about access to information and opportunities and jobs and networking mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. our people can't get anywhere else. Okay. And so you start to see and hear the stories. Like you said, I had that viral moment where everybody now gets to know who you are. The amount of people who come up to us and talk about they got jobs at Revolt World or they found the PR, the publicist or the marketer that really mm -hmm. helped their business launch. And so so you can only hear those stories so many times before you go, yo, we got to scale this thing. Yeah, we yeah. got to make this thing big. And then in 2023, in the face of what I see as an absolute attack mm -hmm. on diversity and inclusion, which I won't go into it, but for me is also just an attack on love and humanity. Um, you know, Sean Combs spoke at InvestFest the other day and his message to the room was, no one is coming to save us. Absolutely. We have to do it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so if that's the situation and we're sitting on something where we know last year we touched and can change 10,000 lives, then the dream is not to touch 10,000, it's to touch 100,000, it's to touch 200,000, <laughs> it's to touch 300,000, right? So yeah. what you'll see in Revolt World is a bigger, better summit. 
all of the things that you would expect bigger but bigger bigger performance bigger conversations bigger opportunities and then we've built worlds we've got worlds for everyone but i would say you know the analogy that i keep using is that if disney world is a place where children get to come unlock their dreams and mm -hmm. get like one step to their fantasies one step closer to their fantasies revolt world is the place where black people get to unlock their dreams and get one step closer to their fantasies and so if you're a gamer and you're interested in learning more if you're an artist a producer an entrepreneur who wants to pitch their businesses if you just look in the network mm -hmm. look if you just look in the kick it and have a good time in between like revolt mm -hmm. is world is the place where we are building something for everyone and that's the difference summit was um amazing but on a smaller level okay now we're building worlds for the culture and you got walmart behind it man i'm so <laughs> grateful for walmart coming in and being our um presenting sponsor mm -hmm. and i and i need to say it because it's those types of things when brands don't show up if you don't oh, have a walmart goodness. show up yes. then you don't get opportunities like this and Absolutely. so um for me it's important that our people when it comes to revolt you vote with your eyeballs and you mm. share the content. When it comes to the brands that support Revolt, you support those brands because those are the brands that are proving mm -hmm. that they are willing to invest in your community. Absolutely. Now, where can everybody get their tickets? I mean, what can they expect? Like, what's going to be the thing to get? Just give them the information. Yeah. You can go ahead and drop everything. Now. I got you. So, <laughs> Revolt World, September 22nd <laughs> through the 24th. Um, you can go get your tickets and learn everything about it. It's so comprehensive. And so, the best way to learn everything about it is honestly to go to the website revoltworld.com you can get your general admission tickets or your vip tickets we got everything big performances mm -hmm. from everybody from don tolliver the money bag yo um you name it we've got big conversations we're going to be talking about everything about how hip-hop reinvented the rules from fashion we're going to mm -hmm. talk about what's next for black women in sports you're going to get to see all of your favorite revolt shows live carisha <laughs> gonna be there Ray right. chan's gonna be there i'm gonna have the honor of my show in interview and Jeezy, Ooh, wow. black girl stuff gonna wow. be there, earn your leisure gonna be there again. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the way that I see it is this is the Super Bowl for the culture. Oh, I love right? it. Right? What we're trying mm -hmm. to build is the biggest mm -hmm. and the baddest event, cultural event of the year, every single year. And so, you know, we want everybody to be in the building. Go get your tickets. Revolt World, September 22nd through the 24th. Daytavio, thank you so much. If people want to connect, where can they find you? They can find my my stuff is all really easy. My name is Daytavio, D-E-T-A-V-I-O. You can't put that in Twitter, Facebook, IG, LinkedIn without finding me. Um, it's the blessing that my parents gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Queen. So thank good you. to be here.